We're taking it all! If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I've checked out ET Maxter products in the past and they haven't disappointed so far. If you don't know what ET Maxter is, they're a company that allows you to get alternative products to the big name brands at a fraction of the price along with some good quality as well. So right here in front of me today, we have their all new product, the ET Pods Pro 2, which are going to be a low cost alternative to the AirPods Pro 2 at a lower price point, good quality along with the same features. On the front, we do have a nice gold sticker that says premium 100% ANC quality quality because these do have active noise cancelling built in to allow you to immerse yourself in the audio experience. Not only that, but these do have the standard pop-up animation so you can pair these with your iPhone without a problem, but you can also use them with other Bluetooth devices, whether it's your computer or even an Android phone. It's supposed to have good sound quality as well as the good active noise cancelling technology, up to 7 hours of battery life on a single charge, which is pretty great. They do feature pressure sensitive stems so you can easily control your audio experience with a simple touch or a swipe. Just just like the originals. They of course have the portable charging case, super bass, which is gonna be great if we have that bass pumping in our ears. And these even have spatial audio with head tracking technology. So that's gonna be very fun to test out. Now taking a look at the box, I don't happen to have the AirPods Pro 2, but I do have the original AirPod Pros generation one. And we can take a look at the box here. As you can see, similar design and it's looking very accurate compared to an AirPods Pro 2 box. Although with the exception here, you can actually feel the design of the earbuds right here on the box. This is just a flat image, but you know, it's just a box, nobody really cares. Taking a look at the top, as you can see, we have blank over here, we have AirPods Pro branding over here. Taking a look at the side, Apple logo and nothing. Down at the bottom, we do have the stickers and different information and nothing. And then we have nothing and the Apple logo once again. If we take a look on the back, we can see the case and the earbuds on both. We have earphones second generation with MagSafe charging case, AirPods Pro over here on the right side with the wireless charging case. Now, like I said, AirPods Pro generation one here, so it's not an apples to apple comparison, but you get an idea. So now let's get inside of the box. Very similar experience so far, and it continues within. Inside we do have a detailed user guide to let you know how to pair and use the earphones. Nice color design, everything's looking great, tells you everything you need to know. The actual charging case with the earphones looking good has some very solid weight to it, very good quality so far. Inside the box we also do have a USB-C to lightning charging cable so you can charge them up. As well as three different size ear tips so you can get the best fit for the best audio experience. Now taking a look at the ET Pods Pro 2, we're going to get this wrapping taken off of them. Very nice weight, like I mentioned before, and a very good design here, looking very nice and feeling just as good. Now, once again, we have the AirPods Pro Generation 1 here, and we'll do a quick comparison, even though they are gonna have some differences, but we're just taking a look at quality. Weight, very similar in weight. They both feel very premium. Let's see, if I mix these up right now. This one does feel a little bit heavier. Oh, it's actually the ET Maxter <laughs> ET Pods Pro 2 right here. It probably has something to do with being the second generation, but these definitely feel, these actually feel a bit higher quality than the AirPods Pro 1. Now taking a look at them side by side with the AirPods Pro Generation 1 on the left side and the ET Pods Pro 2 on the right side, looking very good. LED lights on the front of both, along with a little groove here to pop open the top. Take a look on the right side, the second generation does have a lanyard spot right here, so you can put the charging case on a lanyard so you always have it with you. Taking a look on the back, the hinge is looking I mean, it looks identical to me, both a little matte silver looking along with the pairing button on the back. We do have designed by Apple in California, assembled in China on the back of the AirPods and nothing on the back of the ET Maxter's ET Pods Pro 2. Nothing over here on the side. If we take a look at the bottom, we have lightning charging ports on both, but we do have speaker grills down here on the bottom of the ET Pods Pro 2. Now, you know, looking at this, charging cases look identical, so that's very good to see. They feel like the same quality, very nice to feel, but now one thing I always have to test the hinge quality. Very, very similar hinge, very good quality. As you can see, it stays open, it's magnetic, just like over here. Same deal, very good quality. So now let's pop out the ET Pods Pro and take a look at the earbuds themselves. Once again, very good quality, feeling great in the hands, lightweight but not cheaply light. Actually, test out these AirPods Pro in comparison. 
you know, extremely similar weight. I almost mixed them up, but the first generation does look a little bit different, but it does have the same design cues for the most part, looking good. Now the left and right indicator R and L does look a tad bit different. It is a little bit smaller, although it might be the case on the second generation, I'm not sure. But other than that, a very nice design, looking good. I honestly couldn't tell the difference. One other thing I like to test is seeing if the ET Pods Pro 2 can fit in the AirPods charging case and charge. So let's stick it in. I mean, it's lit up. I don't know if that means it's charging, but it's in there. Yeah, they fit, so that's very cool. Let me just put the AirPods Pro 1 back inside, and then we'll get back onto the ET Pods Pro 2. So like I was saying, taking a look at these, they look very good. We have all the sensors that we're expecting. We have some grills over here on the back. These stems right here are pressure sensitive and able to be used to control the volume, skip tracks, etc. If we pop off the ear tips here, oh wow, very very strong ear tips right there. Look at that, we can see the speaker grill right here. I mean, everything's looking very good quality. I'm very impressed, they've definitely improved over the years. So now without further ado, let me get these put back into the case. And one thing that I have to test out, this does say it's a MagSafe charging case, which is supposed to be able to charge on Qi wireless chargers as well as Apple Watch MagSafe charging pucks. So I don't see why it wouldn't work, but let's try it out. And it's charging, so very good to see. It's an actual MagSafe charging case. Very nice. And now the moment of truth. Let's get that pop-up window. Pop it open, have it near the iPhone. There they go, not your AirPods Pro. So let's connect them to make them mine. We're gonna hold down the button on the back. They beeped, so it does have sounds coming out of the case. It's connecting. White LED was flashing, now it turned green. Media control, okay, so now we have some information. Press once on either AirPod to play, pause. Okay, it's going a little bit fast. I need these instructions, please. Adjust the volume by swiping up and down on the force sensor of the stem. Noise control, press and hold either AirPod to switch between noise cancellation and transparency. And control center to have additional controls on the phone, yada, yada, yada. You know, basic AirPods Pro stuff, we're gonna skip that. Personalized spatial audio. Use your iPhone to scan your ear geometry for improved spatial audio. Okay, I was reading that, but now it's telling us we have 100% charge on the ET Pods Pro 2 themselves and 75% charge on the charging case. Tap on done. As you can see, even on the widget, we do have the picture of the AirPods Pro 2 and the charging case. Very, very nice. So now if we go inside our settings, we do have AirPods Pro popping up. We're gonna tap on that. And now you can see the battery percentage of the ET Pods Pro 2 as well as the charging case. You can rename them if you want to. We also have noise control options, whether you want it off, active noise cancellation turned on, or transparency mode so you can hear your surroundings. And we can even change different options for pressing and holding the side button on each earphone. On the left one, we have it set to Siri. On the right one, we have it set to noise control to toggle between noise cancellation and transparency mode. We do have automatic ear detection, personalized spatial audio. You can have microphones set to left or right or automatically switch between them. We have optimized battery charging to keep your battery healthy. Show Oh, in Find My, okay. So it's showing up in the Find My app, so that's very cool, and now we can play a sound. The ET Pods Pro 2 are actually beeping from the Find My app on my phone. Now it's not the loudest ever, but if you're in a pretty quiet environment, like you lost them in your room or something, you should be able to find them. So now without further ado, let's see how well these actually fit. Okay, they actually fit very well, very good seal, very comfortable and lightweight. As I switch between noise control, I can hear the differences. It does have a little sound that toggles between it and I can tell the difference. Right now it's off. Active noise canceling is working. Transparency. Okay, now I can hear things. Hey, tell me a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. Ha 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 ha, that's funny, but I can hear it loud and clear. Okay, so now ear tip fit test. Let's see if this is the best seal. Okay, it says we have a good seal on both. Very good. 
Next, personalized spatial audio. Use your iPhone camera to personalize spatial audio for the shape of your ears? Okay. Let's capture the left ear. Okay, done. All right, so now that we got all the setup process out of the way, it's time to jam out to some music and put these to the actual real test. These definitely do get very loud even at just half volume. The bass is definitely bumping. If you start raising the volume up too high, which you probably shouldn't do, there is some distortion, so keep that in mind, but you probably shouldn't have it that high anyways. Watching videos on YouTube is definitely a good experience. All right, all right. Movies with spatial audio. Good, good. And if you're wondering what the audio quality sounds like coming from the microphones in case you're doing a FaceTime or a voice call, this is exactly what it's gonna sound like 100% raw and unedited. So overall, the ET Pods Pro 2 are a great bang for your buck. The build quality is great and pretty much indistinguishable from AirPods Pro. Good weight. Very solid build here. Charging case works great wired or wireless even with an Apple Watch charger, which means MagSafe is compatible. The audio quality is good with bass. It's clear until you get to super high volumes. It's not really a one-to-one -one audio quality match with AirPods Pro, but you're also not paying that premium price. And for the price of these things, they're very good overall. I really like that they have all the same features as the AirPods Pro 2 without paying that premium price tag and they even allow you to adjust all the settings just like with the standard AirPods Pro directly on your iPhone without an issue with the pop-up window and everything. So if you're looking to save some money and also get a lot of the same features and the same build quality as the AirPods Pro, these are definitely a good option. I'll throw the link down below in the description because these are seriously a fraction of the cost of AirPods Pro 2 with the wireless charging case and yet they look exactly the same with a lot of the same features and acceptable audio quality without breaking the bank.